Hi, I'm Michael and today I want to look at how we research what updates we have to make to documentation for Firefox. So in order to do that, we need to um, look at how we build Firefox. That's kind of helpful. So the first thing I want to show you here is our um, release trains. So here's how Firefox releases work. We start with a nightly build. And what happens is when Firefox is on the nightly train, we add new features or change old features, enhance things, uh, whatever. That's, there's a, it's a six weeks uh, time period. Each train is six weeks. So while Firefox is on nightly, we make a bunch of changes. Then we move to the Aurora tra train. Generally, all the things that land in Nightly get moved to Aurora, and this is where we push it out to a larger audience when there's some, um, our QA department tests it, and the audience, uh, Aurora audience uses it every day, and, you know, they get to see, do these things work, are there problems that we didn't anticipate, all of that. Then, after six weeks on Aurora, we move everything up uh, to beta, and we test it with a larger audience. And, and the releases are not every day, they're uh, once a week, and um, um, we see how everything goes. And then finally, uh, everything that's signed off for on beta, we move to the release channel, and then uh, there's a release, and you know, all of our Firefox users get the new version. Now, um, that's if everything goes as you know, planned. You add the features in Nightly, we test it in Aurora, you know, uh, fix bugs or, or, or things, test it in beta, maybe fix bugs, and then release it. Okay, so sometimes features, things get added in Nightly, and they don't make it all the way to release. Maybe, you know, we look at the feature in Nightly or Aurora, and, um, there's other pieces of it that, you know, we're waiting on that are not going to come in this release. So what we do is we um, do things like we pref them off. So maybe we put this behind an about config preference. Um, so you can turn this on for testing, but it won't be available to users in the, in the release, or at least it won't be um, visible or turned on by default in the release kind of thing. So... Um, the big thing is, the, the major plan is to add new things in Nightly and then uh, fix and test them after that. So when we want to see what's new in this case right now, we're researching Firefox 19. When we want to research Firefox 19, we have to go look back to when Firefox 19 was in the Nightly phase, that six-week period, and see what was added to it then. So there's a couple of ways uh, that we do that, and that's what I want to take you through today. So one way, well, first, let's look at when was Firefox um, in Nightly. So I'm going to look over here at this calendar. So back on October 8th, 2012, uh, or sorry, October 9th, 2012, we released Firefox 16. Firefox 17 uh, move to beta channel, 18 moved to the Aurora channel, and 19 uh, became nightly. So, um, basically from um, October 9th, for the next six weeks, Firefox 19 was in uh, nightly. So that's the time period that we're looking for. Basically, that goes up into the next release, which was on November 20th. So from October 8th, through the 19th of November, uh, Firefox 19 uh, was in nightly. Okay, so one place to look for things is the Firefox nightly um, Twitter account. So they often announce new things that are landing um, in nightly so that people who are interested can test these things. So if we go back here, and this is what we'll do, we'll go all the way back to October. And let's see, so October 9th or 8th, what was the date? I keep forgetting, right, October 9th. So we go all the way back to October 9th, 
and we start looking at do they announce anything so let's see uh, the stub installer available for test so <laughs> I'll, I'll keep stay with me um, things like the stub installer is actually not um, that's our installer it's not part of the Firefox program so it's independent of this um, so this isn't something uh, that's going to be in Firefox 19. Um, it's releases independent of Firefox releases. And there's a place to learn more about that, which I'll explain uh, in a moment. Anyway, so we go through these things. A lot of these are here replies to people. Um, um, Web RTC. This is a um, um, thing for for doing like video chat, audio chat, and stuff is in Firefox 19. That's in uh, on October 15th. Um, you can you can read more about it here. But this is something that we're working on for a later uh, release. And so this is these are this is one of those things that um, is prepped off in the final. Uh, release. It's not going to actually be available to end users um, as a default feature in Firefox 19. Um, let's see. A lot of these things, like here they're talking about um, uh, CSS rules, CSS Flexbox implementation. Those are things for developers, web developers, and which we generally don't document on uh, the support website. Those things get documented on our uh, developer documentation. Um, it, so things here about, again, about more stuff about CSS. We're now into November. These are demos. Um, visibility API uh, unprefixed. That's for web developers. Firefox now supports the page break inside CSS property again, web developers, right? And now we're, we're on to um, Firefox 20. Uh, so here we're at the end of November in the 22nd. This is now, nightly is now Firefox 20. So we can stop looking at the Firefox nightly um, uh, account. So how do I know things like web RTC is not going to be in 19. Um, that's because there's this thing called the Firefox. Well, it's listed here on this wiki as Firefox planning. I don't know what the, um, the meeting is called, something else. But um, this is a, a meeting, a weekly meeting, where they kind of um, they ex coordinate all the things happening um, uh, in our products. So um, you can go here and you can see Firefox 16, 17, 18, 19. This group of meetings from October 10th through November 14th. This is when Firefox 19 was on nightly. And there's usually summaries of what kind of stuff was happening. So you can come over here and you see Firefox desktop nightly 19. And it just says Firefox 19 is nightly. You can look at mobile, uh, private browsing per tab landed, but the UI will be defaulted off behind a preference. Okay, so um, those are the kind of things. So you want to look at these meetings. It's really great if you can attend these meetings because sometimes the meeting is more rich than the notes that are left afterward. Um, it has all the details here. It's 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time on Wednesdays. Where else do we look for features? <laughs> we come over here to the um, release tracking page. Um, and you click on Firefox 19. We have desktop uh, and mobile. And you can see there's a it, here's the thing about this page. It doesn't always, uh, in fact, less and less does it get updated and the pages attached to it get updated, but it's still a good place to look. We have the Windows Plugin Hang UI. So you click through and you read about this. Um, 
And um, there should be some bugs listed down here, which you can go visit and see uh, what the status is of these things. And you can see that the target milestone for this is in Firefox 20. So this won't be in uh, Firefox 19. But this is a thing to add to your notes. Oh, Firefox 20. This is a feature in Firefox 20, um, as an example. But if you read through this, what you realize what this is, um, um, is a, uh, a dialogue that will show people when Flash is being, or, a, or any other plugin, is being unresponsive. And it's basically a, no, let me, you know, yes, kill the plugin, or let me just wait for it to figure out what's going on. So actually, probably nothing to document. Good to know that that's happening, but it, it probably isn't something that we need to uh, help article on. So that is the, um, so this is the uh, release tracking page I wanted to show you. Okay, where else? Um, here is an Etherpad um, with links to um, uh, Google Docs um, about features. So Firefox 19, um, and you can um, open these up and see what these features are. So offer to reset the keyword.url preference if it has a non-default value. Uh, wait until Chrome is painted before executing code. Don't load homepage URI before first paint. These things are about just making Firefox faster. I probably don't need any documentation about being faster. Um, per tab private browsing on mobile, lightweight, lightweight theming um, on mobile, ARMV uh, support for more phones. These are things that um, uh, are probably important. So you want to look at these research, look at these bugs, read about them, see when they're um, uh, when they are actually landing. Sometimes things change. Um, and one more place to check is um, I have a very long. I will give this to you along with this calendar of releases. A very long Bugzilla query that picks things up like changes to preferences or options, um, those kind of things. So again, for that query, we're concerned about when was Firefox 19 on nightly? Well, it was after October 8th. So I had this long, long, long Bugzilla query. You can see this is the whole thing right here. Um, and in there, there is a date in this string right here and you can see that is the resolution was changed after October 8th because on October 9th it went to um, this is when 19 was in nightly so we're looking for bugs that were resolved after October 8th and again you can read through here and you'll see things like um, high DPI versions of our cursors. Um, that was something that actually came out in Firefox 18. That was our high DPI um, thing for like a Apple uh, retina displays or any high resolution displays. Um, but there are, you have to look here, um, uh, per window private browsing information text change, um, again, you can look at those things. They're not landing until they'll be in Firefox 20. This isn't, um, some things end up in 20, some things ended up in 18, some things landed in 19, but this is the other place to look. So we have all of these things. We've got the, uh, Firefox nightly Twitter account. We've got this, uh, weekly Wednesday meeting. We have the, uh, release tracking page. We have this Etherpad with uh, that links to Google Docs explaining um, with a list of features uh, coming up. Um, and then we have this Bugzilla query that gives us things like uh, changed preferences and stuff.
So these are all the places uh, that we look for new features or new changes in Firefox, things that are going to have to be documented. Um, it takes a little bit of work, but this is how you determine what to write is, you know, you can find out what's changed. And then some of these things take follow-up. You can look at in Bugzilla or um, you can ask me, but we follow up like on IRC with the developers and ask them, um, you know, did this, did this land in Firefox 19? The other thing is now Firefox 19 is in beta, so you can verify these things yourself. You can play with the new feature or see the change, compare it to an older version of Firefox and, and, uh, and see what's different. But this is how you find out all the things that have changed. Whew. Next, we'll figure out um, then what articles or what do we have to do? Do we have to write a new article about this or do we update an existing article? That's the next thing that we'll do. So stay tuned for that.